My name is John Connell and I teach junior and senior English at South Mountain High School. The first thing I wake up is I look through my calendar and see what is available for the day. So, which one is I know. your topic? The planning is the hard stuff for me. The doing is the fun stuff. Middle, 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 middle. I told our athletes this, this evening that the practices, those are the hard things. So when you're actually in the game, that's the fun part. You get to put all the stuff you've worked on in practice, you get to put that into work, into motion. Yeah, it was hard, it was long, but once the day gets started, that's the fun stuff. You're not just saying it to One thing I like about Coach Kano is that he not only inspires me like in my athletics, but in my education. When I was barely learning how to pitch in softball, and I just could not get a strike, he was the one who helped me not give up. He was the one who made the extra time, who filmed me to point out certain things to me. He, he really put in the extra effort, effort that teachers that don't put in. He really does put in that effort. He's a very loving person. He has a big heart. Bigger than a lot of teachers on that when I was in high school had a specific situation that started all the inspiration was my freshman year when we were playing Fairfax High School. Uh, the momentum was very high in the second half and I made a freshman mistake and I, uh, I went to the wrong basket. And he pulled me out. I was shaking up very out the game and he told me it doesn't matter how many mistakes you make it just matters if you do not do them if you don't complete the same action and I remember those words and they basically pushed me all along that was a whole message for me. I didn't ask him to be a father he didn't tell me he's gonna be a father but he the way he walked the way his movement was how he dealt with people showed me and reflected upon me how to be a man. And to me, that's a father. You know, I wake up to a wonderful wife and three cool kids, and I'm grateful for that. Um, and then everything I do throughout the day is, is really ultimately for them. I mean, I wouldn't be employed where I am or have all the things that I have now because, you know, I, I've worked for it. I've worked at the school for it. When the kids need help with something or anybody needs help, he's usually able to like um, guide you in the right direction. Um, he usually finds, because I think because of teaching, he's able to like find a way um, for you to understand what he's, his point of view is. I'm in the community that I understand where the kids come from. And especially when I tell them, you know, I went to this elementary school or that elementary school, they can relate because they probably went to the same ones that I went to. Living here, it just sort of felt like home, like I was always meant to be here. The part that I do remember is my experience here. So when you grow up with people and when you're familiar with the area, you sort of just want to stay. I remember being in one of his classrooms and we had just done a training on thinking maps. And he's like, I can use this with my students tomorrow. And I was in his classroom the next day and he was doing it. And the kids were doing it. It was phenomenal. Back here all used to be just a bunch of trees and stuff. So I gotta take this off. He's inspired me to the point where I never want to stop learning. <laughs> he really has shaped me into a better person in all aspects. So thank you, Coach. Caring and responsible, hardworking, and very resourceful. <laughs>